Welcome to Sled Check. In the last episode of the season, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the most important element to get ready for your ride, you. Today, we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at jackets, gloves, bibs, and boots to make sure that you get the proper gear for your riding style. There's a lot of different variables that go in to choosing the proper gear. Number one, you have to think of the air temperature outside. Now, number two, think of actually riding in that cold air and having that added wind chill hitting your face. And number three, how long are you going to be outside in the elements? Let's kick it off with some boots because good riding starts with a solid foundation. So both of the boots on the table are rated for right around negative 60. These are absolutely a fantastic choice when choosing a boot. Now, you're going to want to make sure you have a good rating, a good temperature rating on the boot. Usually lower is better. These can handle some cold conditions. Now, if you do end up going along the lines of, a, say, a cheaper boot, it might save money in the beginning, but in the long run, you might end up regretting it on those cold days. We're taking a look at the boot's ability to repel water. And while thinking about this, you're going to want waterproof over water resistant. This is gonna help keep all of that moisture out of your boot. So another thing to take a look at when purchasing boots is having interior liners. You're gonna want a really good interior liner that helps suck away some of that moisture with good moisture wicking fabric. These are fantastic options because you can actually pull them out of the boot and let let them dry overnight. Having wet boots is something that's going to make your ride absolutely miserable. We're going to go ahead and talk about fitment of the boot. Now this is absolutely critical to having a comfortable ride. Think about this, too tight of a boot and you're going to start cutting off circulation in your foot which is going to give you a cold ride. Now, too loose of a boot, you're going to actually be losing out on some of that hot air that that boot could provide for you. So it's extremely important to get the proper fitment. That is why I prefer the BOA system personally. Taking a look at the BOA system here, you're going to have a front adjustment as well as a side adjustment on this boot, okay, making sure that you have the perfect fit every time. So let's go ahead and get a grip on gloves. We of course are going to want some of the same characteristics that we looked at on the boot as well. So waterproof on the outside, moisture wicking on the inside. Having too bulky of a glove can cause issues when it comes to maneuverability with your fingers and also prevent you from using a thinner glove inside of your primary glove, which can be a problem when it comes to moisture control. So mittens versus gloves tends to be a preference. However, mittens themselves, having all of your fingers together in one area tend to be a little bit warmer than your typical glove. There are plenty of different gloves to choose from on the market, but the standard long cuff glove happens to be one of the most popular. And this is because it's going to give you plenty of coverage over your wrist while giving you nice dexterity in your fingertips. The third style of glove is the short cuff glove. It's going to give you the most dexterity in your wrist as well as in your fingertips. And this glove is going to be perfect for technical riders and snowcross riders alike. Finally, we're talking about bibs and jackets. Keeping your torso warm and comfortable out on your ride is highest priority for any rider. Now, snowmobile jackets have evolved over the years where they're specifically designed for different styles of riding. Just like boots and gloves, we're gonna want a great warmth rating and we're gonna wanna be able to move freely with great moisture control. A good snowmobile jacket should have a good amount of reflective material that's going to be strategically placed somewhere on the jacket to help you be more visible at night. Finally, look for a storm flap and snow skirt on your next riding jacket. These two things combined are gonna help you stay nice and warm out on the trails. Snowmobile pants are going to end at the waist, where the bibs are actually gonna have added material in the front and back to keep you warm on those cold riding days. Now, both the bibs as well as the pants will actually have suspenders to help keep everything in place. We've spent all this time getting our sled and ourselves ready to go out on the trails. What do you say we go for a rip, bud? I'm Dylan, this is Sled Check. We'll see you guys next season. Well, all the different styles do have their own defining features. Okay. Well, all the different styles of jackets do have defined. This gets molded perfectly to your, to, to your style foot.
It was so perfect. <laughs> you want to try one more? Ah, yeah. I want to get it. This has been Sled Check. We'll see you guys next season. It's all, man. You got to get further up there. Okay.